Hey guys, welcome back to part 6 of my Unity Ragdoll series. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a camera controller for your ragdoll. So by the end of today's video, this is how it's gonna look. So unlike last time where you could only walk forward, backwards, uh, left, and right, you'll now be able to turn and face a direction and walk forward that way. Uh, riding off to the sunrise, and I can walk this way. So using my mouse, I can just look around and stuff. Now obviously, the type of camera control uh, you want depends on what game you're making or what you just want to do. But for this series, I'm just going to be making a third person uh, camera view. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to actually attach our camera to the ragdoll because... Uh, whenever we move our ragdoll, we want it so that the camera will always be behind it and the ragdoll won't get out of view. So to do that, uh, the wrong way is to just put your camera onto the hips so that whenever your hips move forward, the camera will follow it. But um, whenever your hips shake, your camera is also going to shake now. And that's not very uh, appealing for the player, so that's the wrong way. It might be good if you're using a normal character that's not affected by physics but in this case we can't do that because our limbs are always shaking. So uh, let's stop playing and let's move the camera out and instead let's create a, a, an empty game object for a ragdoll and I'm gonna just call it the root. And I'm also gonna give it a rigid body. So. Uh, unlike all our other limbs, uh, in our rigid body, we're actually going to freeze the rotation so that, uh, the root will be able to move around, but it won't be able to rotate. So whenever we add our camera to the root, our camera won't rotate either. Now, obviously, if we move our hips forward, um, uh, the root is not connected to the hips, so it won't actually follow the ragdoll. So what we can do is first of all go to your scene and move up the root so that it's uh, close enough to the hips. So it's like right in the center. Now go to your hips and uh, for all these episodes we've said that the con we don't connect anything in the connected body for our hips unlike our other joints but we're actually going to attach the root on there this time and lock our X motion, uh, Y motion, and Z motion so that uh, the hips won't uh, deattach, I mean detach from the root. But now, if we drag your camera onto the root and click play, since the hips are connected to the root and the root's rotation is frozen, uh, the camera, since the, it's connected to the root, um, the camera won't shake either, but if we go to the our scene and drag this to the side, and if we select our hips, as you can see, it still get it still moves and it still uh, rotates. So no movement has been constrained, but now our camera it kind of bobs up up and down, but that's fine. At least it doesn't shake violently. Okay, so now we just need to make the script to control our input so that we can look around. Okay, so in our scripts, I'm just going to make a camera control script. And let me open that up. Okay, so the first step to make all our variables, so first is the sensitivity or the rotation speed. It's just going to be a public float that's set to 1, but we can easily change that later. Next, we need a transform. That's uh, the transform of our root. Uh, we also need 
our mouse X and mouse Y. Need a public float stomach offset. Uh, the reason uh, we'll need this whenever we make, whenever we rotate our stomach so that whenever we look up and down, uh, it will look like the, uh, the character is also looking up and down. So the stomach offset will help us make sure um, it looks up accurately because sometimes it might just uh, fully flip if you look up. So you can use the stomach offset to add on to the rotation of the stomach and fix it. So next we need the configurable joints of our hips and the stomach joint. And obviously we need this because we're going to rotate the stomach and we need to set the target rotation of the stomach. But we need this so that we can uh, rotate our hips so that we can look to the left or the right or wherever you want to look. In our start function, I'm going to lock the cursor by doing cursor.lock state. It goes cursor lock mode dot locked. Next, we need to delete this and instead put a fixed update because we're dealing with physics. And let me just make a function called cam control. Here we will add on to our mouse X by doing input.get axis mouse X. So Unity is already collecting input from your uh, input devices such as your controller or your mouse or your keyboard and the way we can access that is by doing input.getAxis mouse x so it's a variable from I think negative 1 to 1 and you can multiply that with a sensitivity and add it to your uh, normal float right here. And if you want to see those inputs, those default inputs, you can just go to your uh, Unity editor, go to edit, project settings, and input manager. And then you can open the axes and as you can see there's already lots of buttons and uh, controls that Unity is collecting. So here is mouse X and mouse Y. Okay, so back to our script. We also need to add to our mouse Y. And we're also going to clamp the mouse Y because uh, we don't want to make it so that if we look, uh, look up too much, it will start flipping the, the camera. And um, that's not how it works. So we'll just constrain the the mouse Y. By doing this. So mouse Y equals to mathf.clamp mouse Y. Uh, so we're clamping mouse Y. And we're clamping it between these numbers. So that you can't look up too much. That you can't look down too much and we're just uh, putting that into itself okay now uh, is the root rotation so the uh, the root can't be rotated by physics but we can still rotate it by uh, uh, just uh, setting the rotation so when we okay let me go to my editor to show this so since the camera is connected to, to the root, uh, if you're watching to the just watch the game. As I rotate my root, the camera is always looking at the ragdoll, but it's kind of like orbiting around the root. And all we have to do is just rotate the root to get this effect. And we can look up and down like this. 
so yeah that's uh that's how we're gonna do it back to the script So root rotation is a gun is a quaternion equal to quaternion dot Euler and in here is gonna be ma our mouse X I mean our mouse Y our mouse X and just zero so this is just getting uh, XYZ values and converting it into a quaternion at least I think but it works so now all we have to do is get a uh, root dot rotation equals root rotation and that's pretty much the basics done but uh our camera will move but our uh our ragdoll won't move so we'll be able to look in a direction but we won't be able to face the direction and actually go that direction so now we just have to do hip joint dot target rotation equals quaternion dot Euler and we don't need mouse Y this time because uh, we're gonna be doing mouse Y on the stomach so stomach joint dot target rotation equals quaternion dot Euler negative mouse Y plus the stomach offset and zero for everything else okay that should be good but re always remember to actually call your function I make that mistake a lot so yeah, this should be good. Just save it and let's go to our Unity. Now we have to select our camera and make sure we actually apply the script. So drag the script on there. For the rotation speed, I'm going to put 7. But you can do any sensitivity you want. Uh, root, just drag in the root. Uh, stomach offset, we'll, we'll have to adjust that later. Um, just drag in your hips and uh, Where stomach stomach. Yeah, there we go So now hopefully this works We can click play we can look right look left uh, Hmm something doesn't feel right here Something is definitely wrong. So uh, let's fix this Okay guys, the problem is that uh, whenever you rotate the root, since it's connected to the hips, the hips also rotate, so it kind of messes things up. So instead of directly attaching our camera to the root, let's just make uh, another empty game object called, uh, let's just call it target. And let's just put it inside the root and put the camera on the root. I mean in the target then we can just move the target right above the head and then we can move our camera down to fix the view so yeah I like that view and now we just have to uh, go to our camera and instead of uh, putting a root on the root just put your target so now if you click play uh, it seems to be working now so if you look to the left your hips won't uh, they won't go bad and start looking towards you and stuff so yeah uh, now you can look to the left to the right up down and even your limbs kind of uh, adjust to your uh, cameras uh, rotation so yeah that's how you make a camera controller for your ragdoll uh thanks for watching and bye